Now I'm at the airport. I am so dead. Normally, uh, before the airport, I don't like to sleep because I like to catch all disease on the plane. So that way I don't have as much anxiety. I don't have to stay awake for the takeoff and the landing. I just like to be super drowsy, you know, because it just really helps me be chill. So I'm here. I'm so greasy, oh my god. So I'm staying at the Dashi here in Washington, D.C. And if you come with me, I can show you the most high class thing that you have never seen before. Like an iron pinstripe robes with plush inside cotton. I don't know what this is. The bathroom smells so nice. Actually, when I first came in this whole room, it smells so bad. What? The, come on, full size bottles? This is an interesting concept. I would definitely like look in this. I wonder if they like replace these before they, probably not. This is the main room. We've got our full body mirror. And this is the bed. Our fancy lights everywhere. Fancy lights. Another fancy light. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed our little room tour. Oh, I didn't almost miss this. A touch screen thermostat. Look at this. Ooh, and it vibrates. Display, damn it, this is fucking incredible. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Gotta turn off my heat heating for this. I have to stop mid makeup. So I just got this big ass delivery, this big ass box. You two black, what, what are you doing up here in the state? Yup, excuse me. I'm about to open it up. You guys ready? <laughs> oh my god! You two black always come through. They always come through. Okay, let me show you. Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. All right, so a huge creator bag, a set of five body washes, a Google Home Mini. Girl, I don't even know what that is. Candle, and I bet you all of these are black owned. And this, such, is this handwritten? Such beautiful handwriting. Self-care. The Black Creative's Guide to Self-Care. Discern when to say no, set boundaries, prioritize your mental health, try turning your phone off, Connect with your ride or dies. Acknowledge plus speak to your source and listen to your intuition. I thought this was gonna explain what was in it, but no, that's not the card. It was beautiful though. I do appreciate that, so thank you. Welcome to YouTube Black Fan Fest and Creator Summit, a gathering of boundless creativity and fearless expression you won't soon forget. Here's some products for the duration of your stay, produced expressly by black owned businesses. Brand shaped by the black experience, just like you. Fabulous! So I was right. That's what I thought. You know, can't have YouTube black without black owned businesses. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pin trail. Ooh, B, B. Yes. Oh my god. YouTube black pin. Hemp seed. We were just talking about this. Hemp seed stuff in the car with Amber today. Amber's closet. Hemp seed lotions. I am gagged. <gasps> no, y'all did it very this better be a shirt it is yes this is probably the shirt that they were asking about they did ask me what my shirt size was oh my god another jacket for real for real y'all this is too much don't do this to me wow does it say anything on the back Wow, YouTube Black 17, wow. And restoring balm, refines and hydrates after shaving. I need this, I need this so bad. I'm about to put this in my bathroom right now so I don't forget to use it tomorrow. All right, that's enough of me bragging about all the free shit I just got right now. So um, I am gonna finish getting ready and I will see y'all later, deuces. So right now we in these Washington DC streets, city streets. And we all, um, oh shit, where are my stilettos? Which, you know, in hindsight isn't the best idea, but you know, if I can walk in the streets of Korea, means I can do DC. Can my camera focus? Fuck it. These hands are leading the way. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. I just handed jump in the ball. Oh, hey, just, just handed down to, to dive in the log. Uh -huh. Look both ways, kids, when you're crossing the street. You sure. Don't vlog and walk at the same time, baby. <laughs> Look at everybody. Wait. Ooh, girl, they got horse divorce. 
Hi. You enjoying your fancy dinner? Thank you. Hi. Yes, no honey. They haven't started feeding people yet because I don't think everyone's here. So I'm just gonna look around without getting in the server's way. And I'm just gonna, you know, take a little peek peek at what's going on. Ooh, what's that? Is that a shot of honey? We got our meat chopper. Is that a meat chopper? Beautiful. We got our nuts. We got our cheese and some peppers and other arrangements. And we got people cutting, making things with our hands, making these meats. The food is out, Hannah. We on the horse, divorce. That's French, but we're an Italian restaurant. We got the. We got the house seasonal. Fuckachia. I didn't get out of the car. This is yes, you did. It's so delicious. Isn't it? It's like cheesy bread with grapes and olives. It sounds weird, some, some but it's. It's such a. It does, but it, it's so good. And then um, what is this? I forget what he said. This is probably the taco salad with the goat cheese. I never go order this shit because I go out. Never. I'll be like, what the hell is that? Give us some meat. I'm trying to find some, some what? Some meat. meat. Give us some milk. He needs some milk. The uh -huh. <laughs> like going to like this. You know, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for my More olives. More olives. This is just cheese balls. I mean, it really isn't just the cheese ball. Excuse taco salad. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's the taco salad. Tomato, olive, and cheese. Thank you. Do you know what this is? Yes, that's the burrata. Burrata. Okay. It's served with um, curry squash, carrots, and roasted potatoes. All right. That's delicious. Yeah, I like the squash. Well, that's how you, that's how you Not crazy about the cheese. <laughs> the squash tastes like yams. Right. This is actually the taco salad. And this is the farm burrata. It's chard octopus. Who wants some chard octopus? Anybody want some chard octopus? Anybody at all? Okay. What's that? Chard octopus. Oh, yeah, I tried it. See, I like the way it's so good. I tried it. But you won't try the yam? Nah, I got better yams at the crib. Okay. I, I have lied. It's not a yam. It's a. I know. I forgot. What is it again? A squat. No. Really? Are you gonna try some octopus, huh? Oh, no, man. Why you get the biggest piece? At least you're going in. Get a little tail. You're going for like a whole tentacle. You got to try. This tastes just like chicken. It tastes just like chicken. I tried it. Get a charred piece. Get a crispy piece. Like that? This piece? Yeah, that outside. one's too meaty. Come on, That's a big one. Wait, no, this one. This one over here. Is yeah, get, get that. Yeah, cut it. Oh, that's good. Go for it. Go for it. Trust me. Go for it. No, man. Do it. Go for 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 Y'all are fake. If y'all don't put this octopus, yeah, you can. It's okay. It's meat. It's meat. If you put a little piece, you don't have to commit at all. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> This is the worst fucking angle. Yeah. It's our anniversary, 150 year anniversary. Woo! Woo! Come on, 150 years. So this is a really big deal to be having so many talented black creators coming in one spot, perform on the main stage, kicking off our homecoming festivities. And it's especially important to YouTube because not only are we supporting the amplification of black voices, we're also doing this with Fan Fest. It's the first Fan Fest in America, and it's most certainly the first YouTube black fan Shut fest. up!
we did have a really big team, many of whom you guys met throughout the day for rehearsals and all the stuff leading up. We are all really excited and humbled to be working on this. And we're really excited that you guys are playing a role in our broader fan fest story. Because we've been doing this for a while throughout the world. So we're excited to be bringing it to the US with our top black creator talent. Um, and now I'm going to pass it off to Merrick, who's been working on fan fest globally. And he's going to tell you a little bit more about why this is really important in that broader story. <laughs> Fine, guys, I'm going to take a few seconds. Um, just want to echo everything that Kendra said. The reason we do this and the reason we do FanFest is because of this connection you guys have with your fans. Um, you saw it for the first time online, and when we bring this to life, it's one of the most incredible experiences. Uh, we've done over 30 of these now globally. Uh, we've had almost 100,000 fans meet you guys live. Um, we've raised crazy amounts of sponsorship for you guys as well. So this program is working. It's delivering you connection with your fans. It's delivering you further monetization. It's building your brand and building your business. So as YouTube, we are very proud to actually have you guys within the community. And this is exactly what we're trying to do for you, uh, to help you guys out. So hopefully this is going to work in the US. You guys are actually beginning to make this happen in the US. So we're very excited. You only gave us four weeks to make this happen, you know? <laughs> but it's happening. Um, Wait, you know, the black girls do break records. And just so you guys know, it's not hopefully it will go well, it will go well. We yeah. sold out within 24 hours a half. Yeah. So, like, yeah. people are like, you can't sell tickets on the black market. You guys are very <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no pun intended. So, it's really, it's really hot. We, uh, we saw the rehearsals today. Um, Ed Bean, who's our executive producer, uh, he's been doing he's been quite a bit of the Hey! The rehearsal Go through. Awesome. Yeah. Honestly, it's going to be absolutely yeah, you're fine. amazing oh, sorry. tomorrow. So we're waiting to see that roof completely explode of the power of the university. Sorry, we're going we're gonna to blow it off. <laughs> um, so thank you guys again. Much appreciated. And we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on stage. Yes. Thank you. Cheers. Second course. Ooh. Second course time. Yes. yes, our entrees have come yes. out, honey. <laughs> we got our our risotto corn over here, and then we got uh, this is the lamb, isn't it? What did he say it was? Lamb. So I tried the risotto. Oh, yeah. Yummy, the lamb came. Not a big lamb eater either, but you know, I'll try it. It's time for dessert. I am so ready for this fine dining dessert experience. How about you, Trey? What are you, what are you most looking forward to on the dessert menu? Sweet Excellent. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all better cut these into pieces. <laughs> That's it.